two weeks after intense allegations were made against Kern County Supervisor Zach Scrivener, his whereabouts remain unknown. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. Several days have passed since Supervisor Zach Scrivener was stabbed and accused of sexually assaulting his child. However, Scrivener is nowhere to be seen, not even at the morning session of the Board of Supervisors meeting. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Valle shares how community members reacted to his absence. Supervisor Peters. Here. Supervisor Scrivener. Due to his county leadership position, I am requesting Mr. Scrivener to resign immediately. Mr. Scrivener should immediately step down to allow citizens their right to pick his replacement. Two weeks after bombshell allegations of sexual assault towards his own child and possession of drugs towards Kern County Supervisor Zach Scrivener, many community members continue to express their concerns. Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood revealed when the news first broke that Scrivener's aunt, Kern County District Attorney Cynthia Zimmer, called him personally because she believed her nephew was having a psychotic episode. Youngblood then said that he was taken to the hospital after being stabbed by one of his sons. These allegations rang an alarm to many, prompting them to call on Scrivener to step down from his position. However, during the morning session of the Board of Supervisors meeting Tuesday, Scrivener was nowhere to be seen. So we spent the first uh, part of the morning honoring people, and now I, it pains me to do this, but personally I believe that Mr. Scrivener is guilty of what he's accused of. Many community members spoke during the public comment portion of the meeting, addressing the elephant in the room. If you're child was sexually abused, how long would you like to wait for charges to be filed? This type of behavior is not acceptable to the citizens of Kern County. The allegations made toward him even prompted the Taft College baseball coach to return one of their certificates of recognition given to them by Scrivener. Others we spoke to outside the chambers were upset that he wasn't at the meeting to face angry constituents. Were you surprised to see that he did not show up today? Absolutely. He needs to face the community that he represents. And that was Leslie Valle reporting. Eyewitness News crews were also at the afternoon meeting where Scrivener was again absent. The next meeting is set for May 21st. Hi, I'm Rochelle Murcia with Eyewitness News Bakersfield Now on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel where we have tons of great content to choose from. While you're here, go ahead and click on the subscribe button right there. That way you can stay up to date on all the things related within Kern County. Thanks for watching.